Bentley here with Larry Guitar with Drew. Today we're going to take a look at the pentatonic scale with five positions, how to connect those together with just two licks. I call them the well-worn paths. But first, thanks so much for checking out the video. My name is Drew Bentley. The channel is Learn Guitar with Drew. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. And in the comments section down below, there's lots of links for different things. Okay, so uh, there's five positions of the pentatonic scale. Learning those from north to south, from this uh, part of the guitar to that part of the guitar is pretty standard, but starting to connect those together might be a little bit um, confusing. So today's lesson is the first installment of how to connect those positions together with this uh, two licks. So in my world, this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. And generally, people learn the guitar from north to south. Right now, we're trying to go from east to west, or better yet, uh, northeast to southwest. Uh, you could go from uh, southeast, I'm sorry, Yes, southeast to northwest. However, you don't really travel uh, as freely. The, the kind of the freeways, the pathways of guitar, uh, where you're making large leaps melodically would be from this corner to this corner, if you're looking at like an X. When you go from here to here, it's sort of like spinning your tires. So we're going to kind of take a look at two uh, riffs that are played um, all the time. These have been recorded a, a thousand times, a million times and how to connect these positions together. So, starting with the open low E string, what I was doing in the intro there was going across the pentatonic scale, like that, and we're covering the first position, the second position, the third position, and then into the fourth position. So here's the riff. Open low E, low E3, low E5, low E7, E5. E7, D5, D7, D9, G7, and G9. So it's like this little box here. That's the second position. This box. That's the third position. And the fourth position of the scale. If you haven't learned your pentatonic positions yet, go back and take a look at those and you can see where these uh, shapes are coming from. So what I'm doing is going navigating uh, uh, this lick through the positions. Now this riff has been used all the time. Um, it's um, the uh, sort of the working man guitar solo from Rush. It's uh, it's uh, Life in the Fast Lane from the Eagles. It's a lot of things. Um, so when you're when you're connecting positions, you can either announce that you're changing positions, or you can keep it sort of silent and quiet. In other words, if I do a slide and then change positions, I sort of announce that, hey, I'm doing something different here. If I don't announce it, I would do something like this. So only the guitar players in the crowd are going to know that you change positions, because the timbre of the strings change. This E note sounds different than this E note. This one, this one, this one. They have a different timbre, so it's the same pitch with a slightly different sound. So guitar players are going to pick up on that, but maybe the average listener might not. So you can announce that you're changing, like, hey, look, I'm doing something. Do a, a trill, then the slide. Or you can just simply not do that. Whichever works best for you. Okay, so this is really simple in the sense we're just playing a standard first one position hand shape, basically the first and third fingers. Okay, and then the next one I did was up here. So this is sort of uh, another well-worn path. Uh, I think Good Times, Bad Times with Led Zeppelin. Um, Lay it on the line from Triumph. That riff's been played a lot. It's this position, it's the fifth position, the box looks like this. And then the first position is here. And then this is the second position here. 
So I'm going from the fifth through the first into the second. And it looks like this. <laughs> So here it's low E12, A10, A12, A14, D10, D12, G12, G14, and up to G16. I'm catching what I call catching with my second finger on B15. You notice this is like that. This lick is uh, one of the most common riffs ever. It's been played throughout time. Now you'll notice when I switch to this note, I let off with my, se oh, my second finger, so I go like this, then shift to this finger to continue on, so it looks like this. So that's been used for throughout time as well, so I'll do these again with the backing track playing. to play some riffs in the first position and then I'll connect some of the other positions together to make it more interesting. So maybe do something that you know simply like and then maybe I'll shift down to here. Maybe you know something like this. See that if you do this, you can really kind of move around the guitar neck. So these are just two very useful riffs, just two licks tie the entire guitar neck together with the E minor pentatonic scale. Now, of course, you can do this with any key you want to. You can play it in the key of A minor or D minor, whichever you like. We're doing E minor pentatonic today because that's sort of the foundational home for the guitar. It's really home base. Okay, so uh, please stick around for the next installment of uh, connecting these positions together. Um, if you got value, please hit that subscribe button. That would be great. I really appreciate supporting the channel and I uh, look forward to seeing you at the next lesson.